the secret power of emotional neutrality. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. I'm going to be talking about something that I just spoke about a few minutes ago and had quite a long uh, discussion. It's called Brian J. Pombo Live, but by the time you're seeing this, it's probably not live. This is probably a recording. And our last recording, which I gave a, a great impassioned talk, <laughs> did not get recorded, but it plays into tonight's topic. Okay, emotional neutrality. I talk about being neutral, being not one too far one way or too far another. I'm going to get into that in a second. But first, I wanted to let you know, I have a book. If you haven't read it yet, you got to go get a copy. It's called Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. And it's specifically for business owners and executives, people that are in charge and are able to steer the strategy of their businesses. Uh, go check it out. Get a free copy at amazonproofbook.com or you can get one wherever books are sold, including amazon.com themselves. So let's talk about emotional neutrality. Now this comes back to one of the three pillars of my business. I'm a business strategist. I help business owners and executives to be able to overcome obstacles and so forth. And one of the big things that I bring people back to is something that I call being reality grounded. Okay, that this is one of the three pillars and it is probably the most important one because if you're reality grounded, you're not caught up in the emotions and all the details of the day. You can step back and be able to see things clearly, at least eventually. And but sometimes you get caught up. Sometimes there's there's a situation to where you're you're being tempted to, to be emotional about something. And I'm, I'm going to give you a situation that I ran into today. So, uh, in addition to uh, running a number of businesses, uh, my wife has been running a business since before we were married, which is a property management business. And we had some tenants today who had a plumbing issue that needed to be fixed. And the plumber who would normally handle this is not available until tomorrow. It's Super Bowl Sunday. They're probably going to have some people over at their house. They're really big football fans. And I knew I, I needed to get in there and see what I could do, see if I could at least try to fix it. Turns out all that was needed was a faucet needed to be switched out. And so went in there, uh, went bought a new faucet, started taking it apart, and was having the toughest time figuring out how to get the mounting bolt off this thing. Just with where it was situated and everything else could not wrap my mind around how to do it and how it was installed because I know who installed it and trying to I just could not figure it out and all these different scenarios started running through my head oh you're gonna get them upset or you know the owner's gonna get upset or this or that you know I'm gonna have to go back my wife's gonna be upset you know all these different silly things that end up popping in your head. At the time, it seemed more important than they actually were. And then, I, but I was able to pull back from the emotions and just go, you know, because it, you got the voice in your head and it says something like, you know, well, this is going to happen. And then this is going to happen. This is going to happen. And then if you get emotional, you think you only have two options. You either agree with the voice or you could fight the voice, but there's a third option. And the third option is what I talk about, about being neutral, neither one way nor another. If you just step back and go, well, and have the attitude, don't argue with it, don't talk to it, but have the attitude of, well, maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. Just be neutral. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the situation is. You don't know really where it's going to go. And you just go, maybe yes, maybe no. I don't know. We'll see. And if you have that attitude and not get caught up in trying to control and fix with the wrong energy. Everything works out, and everything did. I calmed down about it. The The situation was actually really simple to fix. There was a, there was a tool that came with the, new, uh, uh, w with the new faucet that allowed me to undo the thing, and it, it all worked out fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. But in the moment, you know when you're in that moment, and something something seems not right. It seems like the whole world's coming crashing down <laughs> over something stupid. 
And sometimes it is. Sometimes it is a big deal. Sometimes it is a big deal. But you still have to have the same clear way of thinking about it. You've got to be able to back up and say maybe yes, maybe no. And be emotionally neutral. If you can do that, I think you'll find amazing things will happen in your life. I know it has for me ever since I learned how to do it. And it's a, it's a great trick and a fabulous principle to understand when it comes to being reality grounded. Hopefully that makes sense to you. I got more tips, principles, strategies, and tactics to help you out. We come back here every night. We, we pull one out and dig, dig it out and talk about it. And also, you can find it in my book. Like I said, AmazonProofBook.com. We'll be back here tomorrow night. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.